All right, so you've proven mastery of latches and foot flops by taking that quiz. And what I'd like you to do is grab the JK flip flop practice problems. It's uh, a front and back. There's page one and two. Now it's set in the lower right hand corner. I want you to look at page one. And looking at page one, the first thing I want to point out is look at the left side of the page and you'll see the lower left hand corner, that waveform. You've got J and K. It's supposed to say preset, and then right below that, it's supposed to say clear. Um, you just the P got chopped off when I photocopied. So get that fixed, and then also on the back side, same issue on the left side. The preset and clear got um, kind of messed up. All right, so get that fixed. Okay, now what you're supposed to be able to do is now that you know how the truth table works, and the only thing that's new to this is. What does an active low input mean? Assuming that you get that, that's what we're supposed to figure out here. So I, I want you to try doing this without looking at your notes. Okay? I want you to do the right side of page one. So there's the there's the first waveform upper right. It says just J and K in the queue. So it's just okay, do you get the JK flip flop fruit table? And then I want you to try the lower right where it throws in the presets and clears. Remember. They're active lows, um, and, and that's I'm showing you here, this waveform, or um, waveform, this block diagram that I just highlighted. That is uh, what you're going to be using for the whole um, uh, waveform practice problem here, okay? So uh, what I want you to do is do the first two on the right side of page one, then check your answers with the overhead transparency that I have. Probably you made a mistake or two here. The key thing is, do you get why you made the mistake? If you look at the transparency, you'll see where I put T, H, that type of stuff. So I can, or it uh, could be set, it could be clear. Um, so look at that in troubleshoot, and hopefully you'll make a couple mistakes. So you realize, oh, that's where I messed up. And then what I want you to do is do the next uh, two on the first page, the ones over to the left those done check your answers then at that point you should be pretty confident and then do the back side and do the whole back side and then check your answers again there's a transparency if you don't understand why something worked a certain way you got to let me know okay this is this is kind of on your own once you've done this you you understand what you're doing the next class you come in and you're taking a quiz it's going to be one of those two pages there. So they're going to be the front side or the back side. All right, that's going to be the quiz. I'm not going to get too crazy. Um, but that's that's going to be your quiz. That's the next class, and that goes in the grade book, okay? So as far as studying, make sure you know how to do those waveforms. All right, and that completes the JK flip-flop waveform analysis practice problems.